what you're about to hear is more of a, uh, a reaction than a review. And I wanted to do, this is an addition. I've already recorded it. What ended up happening was a lot more, yeah, ands, ums, or us. And it's a bit more of a feeling than a thought of the book. I do need some time to process this, but this is exactly what I felt immediately after I, I read the book. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy. Here it is. Hey, True Believers, Englantine here with the last issue of The Walking Dead. This is big for me because I am a big fan and I have been reading this since the beginning. I'm going to get a little bit to that. I will say uh, after seeing Game of Thrones, How I Met Your Mother, all these other things that I've really loved, uh, it is hard to write an ending that's going to be satisfactory. Now, I remember picking up that first issue off the shelf. People were actually laughing at it because of the obvious similarities between The Walking Dead and 28 Days Later. This was right around the same time. Uh, the, those two were released right around the same time. And, oh, my gosh, people would just fester to try to tell you how much similar they were. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah, seriously. Um, but I gave it a try because I, I'm a zombie movie fan, and at the time, zombies weren't really something that were being explored. Try to imagine that world, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> I know you could actually blame a lot of what we're going through with the zombies uh, on Walking Dead. And it's uh, it's a lot different. So, like I said, it, I guess it's hard to do an ending. I don't know how I feel about this one. This may bear repeat viewing, and I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to say here is going to correlate with what you see on the screen here, so take that how you will. Um, there's a lot more story to tell. In, in an afterward, Kirkman says, well, I just ran out of story. No, I could tell you exactly how you could could have come up with the story. See, we're introduced to the future as we see a zombie walking up to a house, uh, just like any other book, no big difference here. And uh, we see Michonne's sword go through the, the skull. Obviously, we're thinking, okay, well, you know, we're going to get to Michonne, but why isn't she in the Commonwealth where she was? And it turns out we're looking at an adult, Rick, uh, not Rick Grimes, but Carl Grimes. Okay, so we're in the future. We're going to get the tale. And here's where it could have en ended differently. Um, he said there's no more story to tell, but this is, we're in the future, Carl's grown up, he's uh, married to Sophie, they have a daughter, her name's Andrea, and, well, it, it kind of tells you where everybody is right now, and the world that was created through, of course, Rick Grimes' efforts, not just his, and it's mentioned it's not just his, there were people helping him, um, but... Imagine you continue to tell the story, or at least one or two more books, and I understand they've got the compendiums and such like that, so you would have to actually come up with about six more books, but um, of, of how they got here, because you're seeing people at the end, but there's a journey there. Uh, right here, we're looking at Maggie and uh, Herschel, he's Mag Maggie and... Um, Glenn's kid and he's running basically a show where he's showing off zombies a lot of kids a lot of young younger people have never seen one and that's how uh, that's how one ended up on his uh, on Carl's yard is because one got away and that's dangerous so that's what really kicks this story off and it really is just let's go visit this person We'll talk a little bit about the legacy of Rick, Rick Grimes. We'll show you where this famous character is and how they're going about life and what's all uh, what this is all about. It's really, really something that when it comes right down to it, the book where anything can happen ends with a book where nothing really happens. Seriously. This book, it, there's no, there's no big uh, drama here. There's no, I, I had, there's a little bit. They try to have a little courtroom thing going on, because turns out that the uh, zombie is the property of Herschel. Therefore, he, when he killed it, he broke property law, and so they have to take that to court. And 
it's something that that's all that happens here. That's the only drama. That's the only times like, oh, okay, so what's going to happen with this? Are they going to jail him? I don't know, but that's not the point. The point is to talk, tell you that basically we're all fine. It, it's going to end fine. Don't worry about this. Rick Grimes died in 192. That, that's, that's sure that happened, but in all honesty, we're all good now. You guys can go on about your lives. You can go read other comics. You could do other things. Have a good time. Um, I'm not spoiling anything, by the way, by telling you this. Because really, this is a character story. This is a dialogue story. If you are into that thing, this is going to hit you in the feels. And nothing I've said is going to spoil it. Because congratulations. You're going to get everything exactly the way you want. Um, I thought it was okay. I really did. I, I don't know what I would have wanted, except there is story to tell. But I have no idea what I would have wanted this book to be for me to go, Oh, that was the most awesome ending ever. A big war between the Commonwealth and Andre. We've already seen this kind of thing. So, yeah, I have no idea what I wanted this to be but i'm i'm relieved actually i mean obviously this 193 issue journey i've been on is over but also everything's fine so i'm happy but i don't know just unsatisfied as well it's very weird i'm very happy that the the story ended the way it did i just think that ending it now was wrong because there are th like uh, we just had we, we just had uh, Rick Grimes killed. There should be more story. Okay, how did Michonne come to run the Commonwealth? Um, Eugene uh, is getting a train... Oh, fuck, I am really starting to spoil it. Hang on, right? um, Eugene is getting a train running. Okay, but they had to clear the train out uh, and stuff like that. Um, there's just a lot of stuff to get how, you know, Herschel grew up and became a carnival, uh, guy who had to capture all those zombies. There are stories to be told here. Um, where's Negan, you know, uh, that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I, I love the way this story ended. I just think when it ended is a little weird and I blame the compendiums, which he, he says are his most popular um, his most popular format. People love the compendiums more than the trade paperbacks and the single issues. Okay, so he's got a right to that, and if he ended it, it would be 48 more issues. So what do you do there? That's, uh, if you're going six issues a story, even if he goes, you know, that's, well, I can't do math right now. It's eight more, uh, it's eight more books, you know, so... I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe this was the right time to end it. Anyway, it's a good book. It's a good book. Like I said, I'm very happy with it. Just not happy with the timing, I guess, what I'm, is what I'm saying. Um, and like I said, maybe with the watching the things that I love end with questionable endings, I could take it. I liked it, but I was unsatisfied. Kind of the same way with Game of Thrones. Okay, to satisfy the YouTube gods and the algorithm, I need to make a 10 plus minute video. So I've decided, okay, I'll tag on this Postal Deliverance review, which is a continuance of another story, I guess another trade called Postal. And I missed it. And I'm very sorry I did because this one was really cool. It starts off with an action scene just to show how badass our uh, protagonist is. Not going to call him a hero because he's not very heroic. He's not a great guy. Um... But then right away, he, we see that his family's been killed. This is in the first couple of pages. I'm not spoiling anything. Uh, cut to he's with another girl, and she's got a kid. And uh, at one point, she says, our kid. And he's like, that's not mine. He's trying to get into another town. It's uh, like a commune of sorts. And that's the setup for this issue, which I guess is going to be the setup for the whole story. Very good characters here. Usually I'm not a big fan of bad stories about bad characters. You know, like, okay, this guy's a bad guy, you know, and uh, not a particular uh, one that I can follow. I don't like those kinds. But if you could give the person a heart, if you give me something to latch on to, okay. Um, 
And just based on that, the characters, while tough and gruff, are actually kind of charming, and I want to follow them. I want to find out where this is all going to go. I was pleasantly surprised by Postal Deliverance. Uh, I will be picking this up, and you're going to see more reviews either in this or the Independence Days that I do on BitChute. If you haven't been to BitChute, go over there, look up uh, I Love Comics. I'm the little Mr. Miracle guy. But yeah, this is definitely a book to follow. Good times, good times. See it. If, see if you can find it at your local comic book shop. So there you go, guys. That's my take, the emotional one, I should say. This was immediately after I stopped reading the book. So what did you think? Did you read it? What did you come away? What did you walk away with from this issue? That's, that's what I really want to know. So put that down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you like me? Were you like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, of course. And uh, if you do like the video, please click like and share. Leave a comment. Do anything to help out the YouTube algorithm to help out the channel. If you haven't done it already, click subscribe. Make sure your notifications are on so you can ring that bell and get notified. Cool things happen around these parts, and I'd hate for you to miss any of it. Don't forget to go on over to Patreon, to Ko-Fi, to help support the channel. And uh, yeah, the link's in the description below. And you can even commission a video on Ko-Fi. And also, as I said before, I've got a bit shoot. I know it's a lot to sell right here. But yeah, go on over there. Look up I Love Comics. And I am the little Mr. Miracle figure there. And uh, have been starting to put some original content on that as well. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.